so many issues that you have. Speaking of massive brains, these are two characters that um, are on complete opposite sides of the spectrum when it comes to the favoritism on Twitter. <laughs> Mega Man, harder character, uh, definitely a hard character to play, mm -hmm. but usually relatively fan favorite, depending on who's piloting him. Hero, on the other hand, not so much. But Silvio, excellent hero at that. How are you feeling about this? Because I know that uh, I'm, I'm, King Ark is a monster when on point. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I think this is not immediate impressions or that this would be kind of rough for Hero because Mega Man sort of controls this mid-range, mm -hmm. which is exactly what Hero wants you to be afraid of, that range of, oh, you know, I could throw out these aerials right here, and then once you back up a little bit, okay, now I can get my um, menus up. Now I can toss up projectiles from back here. Now I can charge my fireball. But Mega Man, Lemons, very non-committal on that one. Metal Blade, very good for chasing things down. And we're seeing the projectiles eat heroes on this one. This looks like it could be very rough. Everything completely accurate. Granted, when you finally get hit by one of those side B's, half charge, you could just take 30-ish 30, 30 percent. Mm. So Hero is always in the game. That's one of the scariest things about Hero is that they're technically never out of the game because of their power-ups, because of their ability to just catch you with the black at any time. Mm. But yep, you know what Mega Man loves? Throttle. Not Stop. that! Not that oh, at all! No, no. <laughs> Oh, also, no. bounce. All right, here's like the one big counterplay to this matchup is bounce because lemons and everything else are good at stopping uh, you from getting a menu. But now you can't even play the game because everything mm -hmm. outside of like back air and forward air. Yeah. <laughs> even hard knuckle. You <laughs> died because you hard knuckled. I understand. I play Zelda, so every time I go against a hero that has bounce, okay, it's over now, right? I can go back to doing what I. Nope. So, I completely understand. It's so ingrained in what Mega Man does. And like you say, so many of his tools. Like, it, it, like King Ark was absolutely establishing complete dominance at the very beginning. And then, Bounce is basically like the embodiment of congrats, you played yourself. Like, what, mm. what do you do? Uh, I will say... Uh, I do think Mega Man can do a decent amount of keep away, even if it's just with the forward air and back air on that one. Um, it is kind of rough because that does mean Hero gets the chance to toss up a lot of things, but if you're not engaging too much, there's not a whole lot of MP to work with. Which I, I think, think I actually, uh, like, one of the big things that we've seen so far that Silvio has done is instead of having to respect the forward air and back air, Silvio will stay just enough out of range to get charge on the uh, full neutral beat because that is another KO option that you got to respect. You short hop too much in front of Hero, that will destroy you. Right now, I mean, King Arc went from dominance to getting destroyed. I don't know what King Arc's going to do, especially because you're near oh, throw no. range. Yeah, that... That was so scary because you're going to die to up throw, so you want to jump. <laughs> that was like a DBZ freeze, legit. I know I know that's Toriyama who does the Dragon Quest artwork anyway, <laughs> but the foot to the face, that 100% looks like something out of a Dragon Ball Z fight. Definitely. Oh. Actually, no, you're right. It looks like this. Yeah, oh! right. Like, that's like the end of like any Tenkaichi combo right there. It's like that's, you mashed A 10 times, and then like, that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah, that's like Goku's uh, jump to ancient fighters. That's, <laughs> that's like that exact move. Rest in peace to 2M, but... Uh, Oh, yeah, rip the leg. Say, say, rip the leg. All right. We call that. What, what was it? Somebody said. Uh, they, they said it's a heart attack Goku now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's Cell Saga Goku. <laughs> So, oh, shoot. Here we go into the next game. Honestly, I think if we could see any type of counterplay to getting bounced not up, King Arc looked incredible because down air, I'm, uh, inc amazing on characters who have very linear vertical recoveries, mm -hmm. who don't have many mix-up options out of that. But once Bounce is on deck, you're basically not playing the game. What was interesting about there, it looked like... Um I forget what that's called. The leaf, leaf shield. shield. Yeah, it looked like leaf shield was initially hitting them and then reflected once it was sent. I don't know if that's how that works or if it's always counted as a projectile. I'm interested to see that interaction. I think what might have happened was it was still reflecting even though it was on him. I'm curious to that too because I'm not sure if it counts as an active melee hitbox or not in that spot. But, God. you know what? It is a great melee hitbox, that hard knuckle. That time, not causing you to die. Oh. All right. Very smart mix up at the ledge, stall uh, uh, away from invincibility too, from the angel platform. Mm -hmm. Using the, just having the saw blade up, dancing around. Don't dance too much though, because Accelerate already yep. blew you up before. Yep, and very scary move. Again, see, just when King Ark gave Silvio a little bit of space, Silvio was like, okay, great, this is time to get buffs. Mm -hmm. I went to neutral now. <laughs> True. To, oh, there's that giant neutral B we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Lemons ain't clanking with that. That's one of the few hitboxes, uh, zoning moves that you have that's actually gonna work in that spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, jab block, nice. big damage. Oh, never mind, decided right. to go for another tech chase. Yep, all right, gonna toss out the lightning. And a very strong move on the uh, lightning there as well. Uh, sends down the hitbox initially as well as the projectile, catches projectiles and actually it 
explodes where they are mm -hmm. when it collides with them. Very strong against uh, projectile characters. Yep, one of the most, it's one of, if not, actually, no, definitely not the best, but it's one of Hero's best moves. It's so good at so many options, but right there, getting massive damage to the face, not moving an inch, though. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what, what caused that trade that kept King Ark in that spot. Um, so I have seen King Ark a couple times use Crash Bomber and get hit by it and then not go anywhere, so I think it might mm. be that he SDIs down in shields or something. I'm not 100% sure because he's always shrouded in an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's got the extra, uh, what is it, the energy tanks. He's just like, yeah, I got life to spare. <laughs> Who cares? He's, he's got the tanks in the bag. Yeah. Now, now, what you need is that zero power up because then you could get Rengeki's and uh, put zero in the game. I don't... Wait, is it, can, can we, I can't wait till we have like assisted like assist trophies that are converted to characters at some oh, point. Speaking of conversions, jeez, have, have stage away. There's no conversion. It's just the move. It's just half stage. <laughs> ah, yes, you are in my danger zone. Die. And speaking of danger zone, once again. All right, so we did just learn it does mm. count as a melee hitbox in that spot. With 80 plus characters, it's hard to see all these matchups, but this one. It, it's like we've already seen what we thought off the rip was going to be like a Mega Man dub mm -hmm. is actually way closer than we expected. Yeah, Balance is pulling a lot of work on this one. Um, I have completely forgotten. It's like the one thing that I would I should remember about here is like, oh yeah, this is like invalidates projectile characters for a period of time. Yeah, and Sylvia holding another lead here. 148 though, not like you're on borrowed time to a back air or a potential up tilt as well on a shield. Mm -hmm. But actually, is... but actually better up smash. Oh no, that's the air dodge. Good fade away back to the ledge though. Not gonna eat any extra damage on that one. Catches them with the back air. 65% is not too bad, but now Sylvia's gonna have full mana. 100 mana on deck. You gotta watch. Sizzle. Sizzle's very very unreactable, so you just gotta hope you got shield up fast enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't right. drift below the ledge. That would have been that would have been really bad for Sergio. Right, Accelerado chase. All right. Oh, actually, they're in time to punish. Very nice. Metal Blade on deck, Accelerado down. I like the option coverage from there in King Arc 2, just putting out the saw blade, put out the short hop up air just to keep him grounded in that spot. Nice Metal Blade on that one, tries to chase with the up air. <gasps> oh, no punish! It's not there for the neutral B, but misses on the punush. Okay. Tries to catch an aggressive forward smash. Hey, you know what? He's being really aggressive at a disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. So why not put the forward smash out there? It's a projectile, keeps you safe. Up tilt is an option we actually really haven't seen too much so far. Mm -hmm. And that move is okay. incredible. Yep, very risky though at this point. Because again, like you said, Hero with a lot of these KO options, especially quick KO options, he's got these moves where even if he doesn't get a punish, he can move back and get a potentially game-changing buff on his. Yeah, I tried to catch the roll there with hard knuckle. Hey, also, you gotta count your blessings as King Arc. The fact that you can stop Kaboom in its tracks, that's one of the most broken moves in the game. Like, I think he, he not only just said he's got no MP now, so this is going to be a little bit rough for Sergio. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's off stage. He's forced to air dodge, but he misses it. Like, like you said, MP is now coming back now. It's at 20, so you can at least recover. Mm -hmm. But you pretty much can't go for as many side Bs or as many of these book reads. And now you're forced off stage once again. Can you recover high? No, you can't. Nice, good call on that one. No air dodge. Oh! Yeah, that's yeah, you're it. done. Done perfectly set up from King Ark after being in such a deficit, but NY players never say die. Like, it, it's so hard to close out any game, especially against somebody like King Ark, who just, we've seen this from him time and time again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's so scary, man. It's so intimidating to be against this character. It's kind of similar in the sense, like, and you mentioned it going into this game as well, um, the big brain status. Playing against this character, okay, I've got to keep track of the MP. Whatever their menus are when they open it up. I've got to play mm -hmm. neutral against this character. i got to remember what buffs they have. But Hero without the buffs, without the menus up, without the MP coming up in that situation, not a lot of options going for him. And King exactly. Ready to take advantage in the window that he needed. Like, one of the biggest confusing factors for people when it comes to playing Smash is most fighting games, it's rock, paper, scissors. In Smash, it's rock, paper, scissors, gun, jump, shield, spot dodge, cancel, potentially Pac-Man fruit. You never know. And then kaboom. Like, and Hero is just oh. the embodiment of all the chaos. You want to read options, like, two moves ahead, and then you just might get cooked by one of those spells. So having to play against that is so rough, but, like, and so far we at least have seen bounce is the answer. I still feel really good here going to game three for King Arc. Yeah, and we're already seeing a little bit of the stuff repping before. Um, you know, Silvio trying to throw out these projectiles here. Actually, it bounced on deck there, but wasn't quite quick enough to pick it up. Um, 
we see like, oh, I'm gonna toss out one of Hero's slow areas, I'm gonna toss out these projectiles, but Lemon's Metal Blade all clanking with them, and unlike Hero, Mega Man doesn't really have to spend anything to do it. True enough, yeah, you got that consistent resource of annoyance. You get to put out all those lemons, they have put out plenty of projectiles to keep that pressure up. Right now, you're you're a Z-drop away from a KL. That's why you see mm -hmm. Sylvia's playing jump game. He's not trying to stay grounded in shield to possibly take an up tilt. Oh, oh that still got him! All right, then. There, there we go. There, yeah. that, we were talking about all the options. We forgot about sleep. Sometimes you just get knocked out. <laughs> all right. Back on. Neutral is gimp for a few seconds. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't do anything. You yep. got to hold all of this. You got to keep this pressure up. All so right, there we go. Lemon's back online. We have Citrus. <laughs> All right. When life g gives you Mega Man's, like, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when Bounce is on board? I don't know. Oh, oh my the god, read! the read! He hasn't gone for that the entire time, just consistently letting him feel comfortable on rolling I, away at any given I'm point. So, I'm so used to Accelerado. Like, heroes get Accelerado and they just hop across the stage like, I am so fast now, look at how good of a character I am. But seeing the run-up forward smash, I think, really does it. That was That's so, so funny. good. Oh my god, and he was, after that miss attempt of that edge guard, that was still frightening there too, but gets the roll read in with that back air. This... I was saying I was feeling pretty good about King Art. However, you got a whole two stocks to deal with 100 plus mana out of Hero. You better get something good. Mm -hmm. This is a rough place to be. And we see here King Art just trying to make something work in the neutral while um, Silvio's got the advantage with Accelerado here. But Silvio can just get in your face almost immediately with it's, that move up. Like Silvio was just keeping such good pressure from the falling out the platform, keeping those fares out. He's basically putting fear into the heart of King Art. That's your jump. You're forced to recover low. You got to get around that air dodge. Oh, get nice. by though. It stays alive. Yep, tries to go for the. There oh, you're dead. That, that's it. You ain't coming yeah, back from that dead. one. Incredible play from Silvio after what we thought was definitely almost like an all hands on deck body bag for the King Arc over Silvio at the start. There was nothing Silvio could do. And bounce. then bounce happened. It's like, bounce <laughs> <is so laughs> you would have thought.